Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me back here in Old World Blues, the A to Z series in which we're playing as a Cherokee Nation, but we have a test decision since we talked about doing the pit stuff last time. Or at least clearing out the Raiders. Ah, uh, let's take a look-see. The Raider gang hold up in the pit transform the Earth's wild place of luring into a maze of traps. Couple of them being heavily armed, this means we can take them out, uh, uh, we would not be able to do so without heavy losses. We tried reasoning with them, but it's not guaranteed to succeed later, or either, because the Raiders rarely listen to reason. Also, this may lead them... This may lead to them being aware of our designs for the place and dig even deeper. Whatever we do, everyone needs to pitch in, and we need a group of decisions on how to progress from here. Center troops, negotiators. Um, I was in negotiators. I don't know what's going to happen. We can comb the archives. Why do the pit staff decide to so, so much, store so much data on punch cards? We get the feeling that the pit was seriously underfunded. They couldn't even afford at least consumer grade hollow disk machines. The punch cards didn't even beyond any attempt to salvage them, but the few hollow disks they had luckily survived intact. We should distribute them. <clears throat> They're going to do this completely dead. Um, um, among the Federation. Distribute them among the Federation so they can be used as efficiently as possible. Share our spoils. We found a couple of prototypes improve and improved weapons, or <clears throat> improved versions of every day, and use machinery and devices from before the war. While well, the machines. If those don't work anymore, we did learn some valuable lessons from dismantling and inspecting them. Well, look at this. We try to negotiate, but staying in our troops just to die to make shift explosives and hidden spike traps doesn't seem like a good way to solve an issue. Especially if we can do without a loss of life. Maybe extend the same courtesy, that of not losing their lives, to the Lord of the Pit and his goons we can come to an agreement that satisfies both parties. Approaching with a small team of negotiators showing a white flag, and hope that the Raiders knew what that means was a tense moment of the whole operation. Surprisingly enough, they were not a shot immediately and was actually managed to give up a parlay starting. Instead of the Lord of the Pit and his men giving up to giving up the pit to us. As long as we promise them no repercussions for anything they did while being in the raiding business and a permanent place in our ranks. So actually may benefit us in the long run in different ways. More people capable of handling weapons and know it's always good. And while also while crude, their defenses showed an impressive level of ingenuity, which we surely can apply to other construction efforts. And the Lord of the Pit himself is a capable leader managing to keep a raider gang together for multiple years. Guess made some new friends with huh? The boss ra raider boss calls himself Lord of the Pit becomes available for service. Nice. Now it's time for us to have a little bit of fun with painted rock. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully we do okay overall. We never know. Infantry kind of sucks, but, uh... Maybe we just won't force a general attack. Let's see what we can do by themselves. Um, sure, Desperados. Do you want to help us out? Why not? Because after them, we could go to war with called a Lupa or Hangdogs. We can see what happens with Lanius and whatnot, too. Um, these guys are killing each other down here, so whoever wins from that war... Might be interesting to see if we could, uh... Take from them as well. But we do have enough manpower at the current moment. We do have uh, a little bit of, yeah, maybe not too much damage going on. Let's see. Let's make one right there, real quick. Another division, good. Mm, very good. And uh, anything here? Uh, not too much. Reconnaissance wouldn't be bad. We could get some recon though. Recovery rate? Eh, I'd left over one now. Are these special? Oh, this is special forces. These are special forces. Okay. Well, 37. I kind of want to use horses, but we'll see. Um, the new expansion. Now that we have a stable backbone of inf infrastructure and economy, the many up and coming entrepreneurs willing to improve their metal in the world of business or in government positions, we can pick and choose from the best of them. Nice. Very nice. Uh, look at that one, too. Oh, yeah. So this is for everybody that we fight, huh? Interesting. Yeah, maybe we might switch our horses. We'll see. Oh! Hello. Never mind. Found him. These guys are what? 12 combat width with recon. Oh, they have recon? No, just recon. 14 combat width. Oh, they have logistics. Weird, but okay. Well, we'll probably get rid of this one compared to the other one. Alright then. Interesting. And of course, we're going to be faster too, anyway, so. That's pretty nice. Tools of war, huh? Hunt down weapons, sashes. The short time before the war was not a quiet one. Our record show there's a lot of civil unrest in cities that we claim as ours. Riots, insurgencies. The scenes are long in the past now, though, but what that means for us is now that if we can find out the old bases and hideouts of these insurgents, they're bound to be stockpiles of weapons and supplies that should still be usable. Absolutely. Ah, do we have these guys going now? Flustering. Flustering and flustering. Let's 
see if they can do anything about that. Battle plans are nice. Go here and do this as well. There you go. Battle weaponry is good. Um, we will need to probably get some anti tank as well. New expansion. Huh? Repair industrial complexes. There are plenty of pre war workshops and factories scattered around the major urban areas we control. Getting some of them in working condition will improve our industrial capacity. Well, we also learn one thing or another about building new ones. It's mounted the old bunkers. The bunkers in which people survived the Great War stopped serving the purpose a long time ago. Some of them kept around for sentimental reasons, as monuments or simply warehouses. We need to look to the future instead of the past, and they'll serve as a way better use as a source of construction material and equipment than dusty mementos of a past long gone. Um, yeah, we, next one will be anti tank. Nice, there you go. That's good. Build, 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 build. We could call them indoor war, but looks like these guys, the Cypher Warband's winning pretty decently. More stability, yeah, it's not looking great for us right now. Use more military factors, too. Tausa. Got motor motorcycles or bikes or whatever. Nice. Yes, yes. Yeah. Cool. This is pretty much what we're going to be doing for the next little bit. Oh, oh, we got these guys too. That's kind of cool. Um, Clan Advisors, no one there. There. What's in Survivor? More division attack. We negotiate with the Pit Raiders. And that's a division loss when moving, which is not bad, but it doesn't like there's a, that much here for us in terms of uh, different guys and whatnot. Reopen the Pit. With a great celebration, the Plains Commonwealth Institute of Technology is reopened. I told the public today, the leaders of the Allied Nations were all in attendance to applaud the Great Leap Board for the Federation. The first batch of new students was already waiting in front of the gates, ready to begin learning. Features within a grass. Old world knowledge. Old world new tactics. tactics. Conventional. Well, let's go with this one. While moving some of the old holotype recorders, we found that one had a master reel in it with loads of information about large scale ship warfare, spanning, and uh, 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 ooh, uh, strategies. While a lot of this to be adapted to the current state of the world, most would be very useful to us. It makes make sense we could still use that. Firearms, we're going to go with energy weapons. The future of war from the past. While simpler weapons may be more reliable, no one can deny the feeling of power you gain by shooting at someone in the face with a superheated ball of brightly glowing plasma. A functioning mainframe. Oh, oh wow, whole research slot. Clearly the biggest find we had in the process of dismantling the bunker was that the mainframe installed into it was fully functional with power down. If we move all the important bits to a more accessible place and power it up, this would be a big boon to everything that requires sufficient data storage and processing. Like our research, there isn't even an evil AI running on it, probably, and tools of war. One of the big benefits of a uh, uh, hiring the best and brightest were sometimes most ruthless is that they sometimes can procure things that you really don't expect. In the case, pre-war weaponry. Fairly advanced one of that too. Something we were really rather unlikely to able to produce ourselves. What's this one? Gro economic growth. First people's junction space to be and buy and sell all kinds of things. Investing in growth is a trade-off will benefit all members of the Federation. So we're still lacking some manpower, which is not good. Uh, could use more stability there. And we caught actually pretty much a lot of the territory that we already have here. So I don't know when we can actually, like... Unite. So, um, over here, more stability for a year. Tariffs. Dockyard output. Construction. No core map or weekly map level 17. It's not much. It's a little bit though. Uh, look at. Get, ooh. Ooh. It's not much, but I'll take whatever we can do. So, so I haven't done too much around here, which, you know, is whatever. Uh, I might just go to Funded Militias because we already are justifying on the Lannis' cohort, or Lannis... Oh! Well, we were. Lannis has now been absorbed since then. I guess we're going to go with Scrapper's Compact instead. Well, now we're out of political power. God dang it. So, I guess we'll do all that stuff and see what happens next. We're the Federation. Our nations have grown closer and closer in recent times, and we've shown and danced around a particular topic for a while now. Should we just jump over our own shadows and become one nation and one people? Well, it won't make, make us a force to be reckoned with in the area. Well... There are not only upsides to it. 
Even with our already close cooperation, it'll still be a whole while before the new nation run as effective as individual ones. And some might argue that some things make our people unique will get lost in the shuffle. And one nation. The decision has been made. We are one nation, one people. We will be strong, we will prevail, we will look towards for it in the future. Well, we'll see after we talk about the big question. Because my god, we can use more manpower. Even though we do have good uh, tri plane attackers now, which is very decent for us. Our nations have grown closer and closer. Ooh. Ooh. Um, if you want to read this again, this is literally just the books I just read, so... If you want to read that, that's fine with me, but... Nay, I don't know why you want to do nay. <coughs> yeah, there's some immediate penalties immediately, but... Remove the three nations trade center, which granted that all three nations have invested heavily into a shared trade center at First People's Junction, and earn all the shared profits from it. Yay! Look at that! I don't even want to bother looking at all them. Nice. There you go. Oh, there's Lord of the Pit. There you are. Cool. Let time go on now. Is that field commander? Promote. Show field commanders. Promote. That's all these. I hope these guys are at least halfway decent. Wohali? Wohali. Wohali. And you can go right here. You can go right here too. Um, oh, we didn't get a core of them? Ooh. Ah, oh, but this one will give us one nation, which would be good. A new capital. It isn't really necessary to move the seat of the government to a new location, but you can't underestimate the symbolic value of having the center of a newly formed nation. Where many decades ago, we signed the document that led us to this point. We'll soon improve some infrastructure and amenities in the area, though. Oh, this one I've completed. Nice. Uh, gateway to the Plains Commonwealth. Lone Star is long gone with the trade in what used to be the Texas Commonwealth. It's hard to compete with them in the chosen arena. But what we can do is become the gateway, the middleman for the trade between Texas and the Plains Commonwealth. Kansas City, the scavenger haven of the, uh, the Great Bend Junction City. Everyone who wants to trade in that area, or in the trade in that, are going to have to, will have to go through us, a new ruling body. There are many different groups in the various governments before we merge. In addition to that, while we may not lead the nation anymore, the scope and experience of the other two previous leaders is invaluable to really a newly formed nation. The sky's the limit. Oh. Okay, this one either. Part of history. History should never be forgotten, regardless if it's the history of a place, person, or thing. Many Choctaw dedicated their life to the act of remembering. Nashoba was at the forefront of the movement for decades. He's become part of the history of the Choctaw itself, and will be a part of the history of this new nation. Why are they just gambling? You don't become leader of a nation's successful business empire that once without knowing what you're doing. It's more than just bright lights and the luck of the draw. The state of Sequoia. Ah, turns out when we were to settle the area, we more or less reclaimed all the territory of the state of Sequoia. A United Native American government that was uh, proposed almost 300 years ago, but never came to fruition. Better late than never, I suppose, huh? How close are we going to war with them? Ah, oh, I got another month. That's not bad. One nation. Very good. Very bueno, I would say. Ah, oh, factories finally. New ruling body. Sure, why not? Uh, there's some stuff we're missing here. Let's go that one. Factories, eh? There you go. And we're going to need more factories, too. Wow, quite a few more factories. Decent, decent, decent. Very good. Now we're actually going to be a relative... Made, I would, pretty powerful. I mean, maybe, maybe not a superpower, but be pretty darn powerful overall. When you unite, unite, it's pretty good. Pretty darn good. Looking pretty Oklahomish. Ah, good. Nice. Um, since this is a unique template, uh, I want it. No, this one's okay. I want to use more of these guys. Demos, fire teams, anti tank. It does lower armor, but whatever. Um. There you go. That's unique, so why not, right? Since we got them, you might as well use them, right? I'm trying to call this up here too as well. You know, I think uh, this here will go under his other demands, and I don't really care that much. Keep, keep building, keep creating, keep being great. There you go.
Bombardier, eh? You're still pretty... Oh, you're actually relatively experienced. That's kind of fun with us. Well, we'll see what happens. Another 55 days, quite a few days, but we got a, a decent amount of manpower. I'm not super concerned about it. Special forces are doing okay. There's infantry over here doing actually okay as well. Um, we should have more than enough ground damage to really destroy any sort of organization that they do have. So it will be slow going through here, but it'll be going. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Nice. Rats. Nice. Let's repeat itself. Nice. We pierce each other, but we have way more than enough damage. Beautiful. Let's sprint through here, too. Which means this is going to be a front that's going to just collapse eventually, too. They will not be able to handle us. Right now. That's North Texas. All oh, this is fine. Scrap is compact. The one we'll be fighting for. Ooh, an encirclement. We're loving encirclement here. Well, as long as we're not getting encircled, that's what really matters. New ruling body, sure. Beautiful. <coughs> Scrap is compact. Scrap yard is gonna be a little difficult to take out, but whatever. Plenty of political power, though. It's nice. Um, nice. Good stuff. So why did this one unlock? I forget why. That doesn't even tell us. Okay, whatever. Not whatever then. Pretty good. 720 versus 4,000? Not bad. Not too shabby. I just really hate that we didn't get some generic, you know, army XP grind. Kind of really sucks. Ah. New Vegas joined the Kaiser's Legion. Well, that's different. Beautiful. Look at that. So, they have quite a few waterways around here. Um, I'm going to be a bit of a radical here. No, now that New Vegas joined the NCR. That's okay then. Good luck. You're definitely gonna need it. Uh, grab that one. That's fine. More stability? Sure. Are we still losing weekly stability? Oh, we are. That sucks. But it's manageable, so it's not too bad for us. So, hey, I guess we'll have to wait and see. And now, time for the great race. But we don't really care about that. What we really care about is how hard we can push in and not get destroyed, or have our special forces destroyed by the enemy, which they seem to be holding out pretty decently. Oh, they're doing force attack. Oh, I love it. Love it. Well, that's the case. 60-some, 80-some damage. That's a lot of damage. Gonna be doing quite a bit of damage to him. Oh, my lord. They're trying to shoot him down, but I don't know if they're gonna be really all that successful. They've already lost a 1, thousand, 1,200 individuals, which is fine with us. Uh, we're doing part of history still, though, but it's gonna take a little bit of time. My plane attacker, oh, boy. Say it so, say it so. Let's see. There you go. You, on the other hand, what do you want? Uh, Smooth Talker? It's okay. I guess we probably could at this point. It doesn't really matter too much. Beautiful. Just destroy them all. They're still forcing defense. That's kind of insane. But that's their problem, not ours. We still have a lot of manpower. Which is, we always run out of quite a bit of manpower. It's kind of disappointing, but whatever. Uh, 30, 3,200 casualties. Beautiful. Guerrilla tactics. Nice. Sure, you get more attack and whatnot. That's fine. Might as well.
Wichita Falls. And then one last attempt just to hold out. And they couldn't. Nice. Last Lodge looking pretty good. That's a pretty nice Oklahoma. Even we have north, part of northern Texas. Even the Panhandle, even though we should really get this top, but whatever. Um, we'll take a look, see, but we'll see what the state of Sequoia looks like in just a moment. And now, welcome to the state of Sequoia, everybody. We did well. Overall, not bad. Pretty fun, but, you know, we gotta end the campaign there. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.